Hello everyone and welcome to another Starbase video. When you're looking to find a suitable place for your base in space, instead of placing it within the immediate vicinity of the gas planet Eos, why not look towards one of the moons instead? In this video we're taking a look at how the upcoming moon bases and moon mining will work in Starbase. However, it's good to keep in mind that not everything in this video represents the current state of the game and the designs of the features might change over time. EOS is surrounded by over a dozen different moons which are all unique in their atmosphere, size and in the materials that you can find there. The moons also have gravity, which brings its own special challenges providing different kinds of gameplay. In addition, on the moons you can find rare materials that can't be found within Eos's asteroid belt. Many of the moons have their own asteroid belts too, with different materials than in the one around Eos. What's more, you can also mine the moon's surface itself. This can be done by just taking your pickaxe and hacking away like so. You can also use mining lasers or explosives and dig a hole almost as deep as you'd like. Different moons are made out of different materials, and eventually you'll be able to find special ore veins hidden beneath the ground. In case you're looking to stay on the moon for longer than just a single mining trip, you might want to set up a base there. So, how do you get started with setting up your own moon base? Building a moon base is very similar to the station building process. First, you need to get yourself a moon base foundation that looks like this. Then you just need to find a suitable place for your base. When you place the foundation into the universe, it'll let you select how high from the surface you wish your base's ground area to be. After that, you'll just need to press the button on the foundation and the building area will appear as a green cube. A safe zone will also be activated after a timer of 10 minutes. After that, you're gonna need to do some crafting or buying other people's crafts from the auction house. In order to craft, you need a crafting bench. There are a few different kinds, basic, advanced, and a bench for tools and weapons. You'll also need materials in your inventory or your station storage. First, we're gonna need moon base support plinths, so let's craft a few of those. Then, in order to place them, we can drag the icon into the hotbar and use them from there. These can be placed anywhere on the ground and serve as the foundation of your moon base. On top of these, you can then place any other station parts you wish. There are many different kinds of building blocks that you can use in building your station. Some of them are decorative parts, and others serve an actual function. The factory modules are an example of these kinds of parts that can actually be used for something. Here I'm using the factory modules to start building a factory hall like so. Using the cursor mode allows you to place parts a bit easier. You can either build alone or set permissions of the base so that your friends or company members can also help you build. Once it's complete, you can see it forming a green zone around it. Inside a factory hall, you can place cables, pipes, bolts and devices and use them. So you can for example host programmed devices inside the area. You could, for example, set up a blueprint projector inside the factory hall which you can use to project a ship's blueprint and build it. Next, I'm building a capital ship dock. This one will be a little bigger than the factory hall. Once the capital ship dock is complete, you can start building a capital ship of your own inside it in the same way as the dock itself was built, as you can see here. However, this dock area of mine is way too small for building an actual capital ship, but oh well, you get the idea. In addition to these, you can just build using the decorative building blocks to build the moon city of your dreams. And if the building area becomes too small for you, it's possible to expand it. Later, you'll also be able to add a repair hall to help repair your ship easier, atmosphere pumps to collect materials from the moon's atmosphere, a spaceship designer area of your own to design ship blueprints, and more. If building a moon city of your own isn't your style, Eventually, you'll also be able to rent an apartment in one of the skyscrapers of the bigger cities like this one. That's all about moon bases for now, but stay tuned for more additions and improvements to come. If you wish to follow Starbase's development more closely, make sure to check out our weekly progress notes. 
The easiest way to see and get notified by them is to join our Discord server. See you in the next video!